Web stories are their own content format, but how do you make money with them? If that's been a burning question on your mind, you've come to the right episode of Storytime. If you've been following this series for a while, then hopefully by now you've become much more comfortable with creating stories. Your users are beginning to read and enjoy them and your traffic has grown. The next logical step is to think about how you can use your stories to make money. So let's chat about the various ways you can monetize your web stories. Like other content on the web, there isn't just one way to commercial success. You can work with brands to highlight their products, drive sales via affiliate links or integrate ads. The way you generate income also largely depends on your niche or vertical. A fashion lifestyle blogger might focus more on brand deals, while a tech gadget reviewer might make the majority of the income from affiliate links. Let's start with the most obvious income stream, display ads. Whether you hate or love them, display ads can be a major income source for your blog. But one thing we all likely can agree on is that ads and blog posts can sometimes be confusing, distracting and disruptive. If you learn one thing in this episode, I want it to be the fact that web stories strike a great balance in navigating this dilemma. In web stories, the reader already taps from full screen interstitial to full screen interstitial. Yes, your regular content pages. So a display ad along those same lines doesn't feel out of place and is much less disruptive and annoying while maintaining the immersion. You get the best of both worlds, readers that are less annoyed and immersive rich ads. As an added bonus, web story ads never appear to a user in a half-loaded state, which in return typically drives up viewability and consideration. The easiest way to get a display ad to appear in your web story is to use an ad network. Quick sidebar on what an ad network is. An ad network is a technology platform that serves as a broker between a group of publishers and a group of advertisers. It collects all your advertisable story impressions and offers them to be bid on by an advertiser, who then pays for the right to show the ad on your story. Now back to our regular programming. The AMP ad component powering web story ads is an open standard that all ad networks can support. Multiple ad networks are investigating supporting story ads and Google Ad Manager and Google AdSense have already enabled support for them. If you choose to integrate with Google Ad Manager or AdSense, you need to configure them for your story. We've provided links on how to do that both in the video as well as in the description. Once you have set up support in your network of choice, it's very simple to configure your stories to show ads. Here's how to do it in the Web Stories for WordPress plugin. Click on Editor Settings, scroll down to Monetization, Select either AdSense or Ad Manager from the drop-down and then supply the slot and publisher ID. Other editors support ads as well. If you're using Make Stories, you can find the feature under General Settings, Advertising Setup. Or alternatively, if you're using Newsroom AI, you can set this up in Settings, Tags and Analytics, Ad Tag. It does take some traffic for your stories to start serving ads, so don't sweat it if you don't see anything right in the beginning. The second approach is to link out from your story. This might be to your subscription, Patreon, a product page, or even to shopping sites via affiliate links. You're able to use the page attachment feature to create a swipe up link to these alternative advertising opportunities. Or you could simply include links directly on a story page with obvious hints to click on the content. However, be careful not to add these links on every page of your story, as this can fatigue users and do more harm than good. One to two per story is a good number to have. Here's an example of a great outlink that is beautifully designed, non-intrusive and fits well within the context of both the story and the page. I also want to briefly mention a few other monetization strategies for your stories. Sometimes a story is a great way to promote something you are trying to sell. You could run house ads that help promote something that generates you income. Perhaps your book, a paid instructional course or your merchandise store. Or maybe you have sponsors or brand deals signed. Nothing stops you from creating a custom creative that promotes the brand or sponsor. You can use the built-in elements like images, videos or text, but you also have the option to do this by actually building your own web story ads. But that's a topic for another day. The story ads ecosystem is very nascent and still growing. In the future, not only are improvements to the format itself planned, but we hope to see a growing set of advertisers and ad networks. We are planning more episodes on monetization. If there's a particular topic you want to hear about, let us know. Onwards. Onwards.